Seeing some mild temperatures this week, but we know Houstonians are bracing for any upcoming drop in temperature. Frank's newsletter about when to expect a Houston freeze. Yeah, we got to talk about that. It's trending pretty high on click2houston.com today. Oh, say it isn't yep. so, Franco. Uh, well, yeah, you know, it's, it's not always super popular. No, and you know what? Uh, I'm getting a lot of questions just from viewers. Yeah. When is our first freeze? And it's not like when is the first day of summer? It's not It's not exactly. <laughs> not that type of excitement? It's, no, it's not an exact <laughs> date, to be yeah. honest. It's, it, it varies. But uh, so while there's no exact answer on my blog, so I do look at the past, the scientific data, give you a snapshot of, of what could happen. And after February 2021, you'll yeah. remember we're all always thinking about the possibility nice. of a freeze, right? So tonight, meteorologist Daji Aswad is taking a deeper dive into that deep freeze possibility. Daji. Hi, Frank. Hi, everyone. We are once again going back in the past. In February of 2021, that winter storm was like no other. We had nine consecutive days of winter alerts across southeast Texas and the state for that matter. Now, we're not talking about any bone chilling conditions so far as we head into our short term winter outlook, but we should all stay prepared. And I found out how we can do so with items that we can keep in our house here at CND of hardwoods here in the Heights. What did your shelves look like for some of those winter supplies in 2021? Literally bare. Frigid temperatures, ice, and snow during the Great Texas Freeze in 2021 kept stores like C&D Hardware busy. So we'd get here in the morning and there was nothing on the shelf. We would restock those shelves as fast as we could and as fast as we did, the merchandise was gone. Now, the big question is, will we clear shelves again this winter? Now, I don't have a crystal ball to say yes or no, but I do have access to climate data that gives us a preview of what the trend could be like for the winter. Meteorologists lean on large scale patterns like El Nino and La Nina to predict seasonal trends. These help determine if it will be cold, warm, wet, or dry during a season for different regions. This year, we are under the influence of a moderate to strong El Nino. This means Southeast Texas is likely cool or near average for temperatures during the winter, but we could have more precipitation than average. This doesn't mean a cold snap isn't possible, so stay prepared. And you said it's a beautiful day outside. It is. Hey, today's the day to do this type of prep, not when it's freezing cold. Shop for items like heaters, plant covers, pipe protectors before any harsh temperature swings arrive. The trouble we get into is the sustained several days of freezing. One or two nights is probably OK. That's right, one or two nights, not bad if you're at 32 or just below that. But when we start to look at extended periods of cold air settling across our area, that's when we have the headaches, the problems, the power outages. Now we're going to continue to monitor the forecast as always, always tracking if we see any changes with our jet stream, especially that polar vortex that keeps that cold air to the north. Sometimes that can unleash temperatures that we don't want to see here in southeast Texas. Reporting from the Heights, Dodgy Aswad, KPRC. Two news. All right, you got that right. Thank you, Daji. All right, three blogs a week. You can get them in your inbox every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Just sign up at clicktohouston.com/newsletters. And if you.